Oh my goodness, what are you doing? That's an ancestral heirloom, you can't just toss it around like that. So, you saw. The taped up section, you saw Stenya's other work. Yes, that was rather rude, but that's not what I care about right now. You have to promise me you won't tell a single person about what you saw in that journal. It doesn't matter what she sounds like to you. To the Empire, she sounds like a criminal. Just owning this journal is a colourable offence. I tried so hard to cover up any of Stenya's misdeeds. I should have known better and just thrown the thing away when I got it.
I just... I don't know. It called to me. Is that a stupid thing to say? I looked at that journal and saw something more than what I thought I was. Until I found Stenya's journal, I was just an order terrorizer. Just another teal blood. Not that I'm not grateful for my place in the system. Oh, definitely not. We weren't allowed that much back on planet either. I really do regret spending so much time taking pretend clients outside of classes to practice for the real thing. The only thing I ever really had for myself was my workout routine. And as much as I love a good run, that can't be my whole personality either. But then I found the journal and it gave me something else I could be. Something else I already was. Reading Stenya's detailed descriptions of rituals taught me that I'm allowed to slow down. Allowed to take an evening to sit down and just be grateful that I'm alive. The Empire discourages us from thinking about the dead. Death happens so suddenly around here and we're always taught to ignore it and let body disposal take care of it. I'm glad to know I'm part of a culture that allows me to remember the people I cared about. You think I like it here? <laughs> this whole time I've been telling you I want to leave. Does that sound like something a loyalist would do? I'm not loyal. I'm just scared. Scared of losing what little I'm allowed to have. I understand why Stenya did what she did. Hell, I understand why Zizi does what she does. Oh, don't look like that. She's not subtle about it. I might not know what she's doing for whatever rebellion she's part of, but she's definitely part of something. But I can never bring myself to put myself in that kind of danger. Ah, <sighs> maybe I should just burn this. I don't want to end up like she did. Arrested at her final protest, and tried and killed by her peers. That'll have to wait until later though. I've got so much to catch up on because of this wedding. The head of order terrorizing did officially give me the weekend off, but I just know he's going to call soon to ask me where I was at last night's department meeting and why I haven't turned the work in yet. Sorry to leave you on such a sour note, but the work is never done. You do promise you won't tell anyone what you saw, right? Do I look okay? No, I just needed some alone time. What part of I haven't seen Daria since Ascension do you not understand? I can't just go talk to her. I'll probably never talk to her again. It's for the safety of the rebellion. When I ascended, I had to make a choice. I could either leave the rebellion forever and be a good little cog in the legal machine, but keep all my contacts from the planet, 
Or I could become an indispensable part of the revolution, but never talk to anyone again. The choice was obvious. I thought I'd be fine. I'd only been war rails with Daria for a sweep at that point, and it's not like I was dying without one before. And it was fine at first. But the work up here gets so soul crushing, and I can't really complain to Stelz about it. She lives for bureaucracy. And just. Fuck, I miss her so much. Come in! Sorry you have to see me like this. I just got a call from my boss. I'm very behind and unfortunately I have very little time to talk. Not a chance. Mr. Argent needs this paperwork before the evening shift begins and I can't let him down. Why? That would cause complete and total chaos. Paperwork isn't ready, then the next stage of trial prep can't commence. And if trial prep isn't going forward, it gets delayed and creates a clog in the legal machine, and we can't have that. When the higher-ups hear about who caused said clog, all fingers point to me, and I'll be put on a cull list for sure. It's best to just do what I'm told. Well, yes, but emotions like that aren't very productive. I thought I told you to forget about what you read in that journal. said before, if anyone ever finds out about where I come from, I could be culled on sight. We both need to pretend we never saw anything. <sighs> I'm not sure what you're trying to get me to do here. Sure, I could rage. But it would only get me cold. Yes, the system is flawed. Yes, I'm tired of constantly living in fear of my own past. But there's nothing that can be done about it. How do you propose I use this anger to make real change? Preferably without facing the same horrible fate of my ancestor. Suggesting I join a rebel group?
Are you insane? Do you know the kind of negative attention that would bring? Do you know how many sleepless days I've had worrying about Zizi and what would happen if whatever group she's a part of gets caught? I can't do it. It's just too dangerous. What could I possibly need to talk about so much that it's worth risking my safety? No, but I don't imagine their lives are very comfortable. But there's no use thinking about that. The only one whose life I can control is mine. So I vow to work as hard as I can to give myself the best life I can muster. And that's life can't be cut short by dabbling in questions I was never supposed to think about. Well, that's what a Moirail is for, isn't it? I would love to have a Moirail, but I don't think I need to put myself in danger to get one. I would have one already if to go- That's not possible. There's nobody who I can trust to show the journal to. It was risky enough to show it to you, and I'm starting to really regret that decision. And even if I talked to a few people about it, what could they possibly do to help? There is no Alternian Jewish community anymore. I suppose it would, wouldn't it? I've showed the journal to Zizi plenty, but she only knows as much about this as I do. Maybe a non-teal perspective really would help me learn more about Stenya. Stop! This isn't right. I am where I am meant to be. My entire life's work has led up to my assignment on the Eustitia. It's such a privilege for me to be here. Why would I throw that away? Plenty of people are unhappy. Almost everyone I know is unhappy. That isn't enough of a reason to throw my safety and everything I've worked for in the garbage. I'll tell you what. Give me one good reason. One genuinely convincing reason why I should abandon the Eustitia and I'll go. Well, yes! The first time I saw the protest map, I was filled with an undeniable dread. But every time I've looked at it since, I've been more and more impressed. Organizing a protest must take an extreme level of management skill. And the fact that this was all done on paper is even more impressive. But what astounds me the most is the insurmountable courage this must have taken. She was brave enough to stand on the front lines and risk her life for something she believed in. 
I can't even muster the courage to ask Mr. Argent if I can implement a more efficient type of spreadsheet at work. I'm a coward. Isn't that obvious? My whole life has been dedicated to doing exactly what was expected of me, just for a guarantee of safety. And more and more, it feels like that's not a guarantee anymore. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Zizi, we need to talk. Fuck. I know this is something I've avoided talking about for a while. It's pretty far out of my comfort zone. But I can't kid myself any longer. Please don't draw it up like this. Just say it. You're leaving me for the new timeline. I want to join the Rebellion. What? I know you're part of some rebel group. I don't know what you do or how involved you are, but I want to join you. What did you say to her? Her journal? What is that? My ancestor was a protest leader. She documented everything she did, including the protests. I tried to cover it up, just in case someone tried to connect me to her crimes, but this one here really is quite the detective. Your ancestor was the Scrivener. The what? The Scrivener. She was the leader of a brief revolutionary movement based around protesting forced ascension. It was snuffed out really quickly, so there's not that much info about it. But your ancestor was so thorough with documenting everything that I found a couple of her protest guides in my research. Nothing this complete, though. You know things about Stenia that I don't? You need to tell me everything! I've tried to look her up in Ledger's Corpus records before, but they've basically wiped her from history. The only thing I could find about her is that she was eventually arrested and tried by some legislacerator known as the Diligent. Yup, the Diligent. Otherwise known as Tenia Entek. What? You're... There's a reason I was never into ancestor worship. I can't believe I'm doing this. How are we even going to get off the Eustacia in the first place? Don't worry, I've got this all figured out. Believe me, I've got like a dozen escape plans lying around here. This will be easy. We just gotta join Tagora when he makes his way back to Gallic's ship. We'll wait there until Malak can send us transport down to Alternia. Then we can hide out in Everdim or something, or maybe one of the caverns. Holy fuck. I'm gonna get to see Daria again. Well, if we do hide in the caverns, I suppose. No, you don't understand. I haven't so much as texted Daria since Ascension. It's been a sweep and a half. Thank you so much. Well... Since you were so adamant on me joining the Rebellion, I assume you'll be joining us too? There's a line of escape pods by the docking bay we came in on. You should be able to find your way there, no problem. You might want to hurry though. Work starts in a couple hours and you don't want to risk getting caught. 